Hey guys, Matt Sifts here with Live Fast Motorsports. This is the first edition for us for the Fan Jam series. I'm here with Drew Parker. And um, Drew, welcome to our shop here. Yeah, man, thanks for having me. So this is a little bit different for me because normally I'm listening to you guys on the radio or watching on YouTube, whatever it might be. So um, what's it like to be in the middle of a race shop here? Uh, pretty cool. I, uh, I kind of thought a few years ago that I might end up here instead of Nashville, or at least I wanted to as a kid. Uh, but it's probably uh, better that I took off to Nashville to <laughs> chase country music instead of uh, fast cars. What was your your first live performance, either as a performer or a band or whatever it might be? What was that performance like? How were the nerves going into that? What was what was that experience like? Yeah, I mean, you know, for me, it's there's been so many different levels of things, and I mean, to this day, I mean, I, I'm 30 years old. I've been doing this full time now for seven, eight years, and so I mean playing the Grand Ole Opry, I mean, I was yeah. all jitters, completely nervous. I mean, it's a whole, that's a whole different element to what I do. And yeah. it's, you know, there, it's nothing you can explain. It's like, what am I feeling right now? And uh, so that was definitely a scary moment. But, you know, I go back, you know, to play in little bars in my hometown and um, being nervous the first time I did that, you know, having to sit on a bar stool for three and a half, four hours and hopefully not play the same song twice, you know, <laughs> and not run out of songs and sing. How old were you when the first one was? I would say that would have been, I would was probably 17 or 18 okay. at the yeah. time. Um, I mean, just had picked up the guitar. So like, <laughs> not only having to remember words, and oh. uh, but also trying to remember how to play all these songs Dude, and not be there. a great guitar player. Uh, it, it was really crazy. To, so to now, you know, kind of be at this stage in my career and it's uh, thinking back on those times, it's cra kind of crazy to think that, you know, I am to this point uh, in my career, but I think the biggest ticket is hard work, and you know a lot about that. I mean, what do you feel like is you know something that that sets you apart in um, in country, and do you feel like you want to expand into the different you know the subgenres of country? Right. Well, for me as as an artist and and who I want to be, the kind of music that I want to put out, it it's very close. And I somebody out there way smarter than me has given it a name. I'm sure um, a lot of people say traditional, a lot of people say neo traditional. I just say. It's country music, it's it's modern country music with uh, heavily influenced by 90s country music, which is what I love so much. That's the music I grew up on. To me, that's the best country music that there's ever been. Um, and so that's kind of, when I sit down and write a song, that's kind of what I chase to at least record for myself is something that kind of follows suit in that path of, of what they were writing about and singing about back in the 90s. Yeah. We hit it off, became friends instantly, and he was like, man, come to Nashville, let's write songs. and. You know, I was always wanted to move to Nashville and just kind of needed that kick in my tail to, to go do it. And um, I think that was kind of part of it is just having that guy there that was already there and, and believed in me and I believed in him and um, just started writing songs together. And then, you know, it feels like overnight he kind of blew up and has become what he what he has. But it's been, it's been a great journey and I love country music so much and, and so thankful that I get to kind of live my dream, which you are too, you know? What was that transition for you like um, when you came to Nashville and you said, hey, I'm leaving everything behind, like I'm going for it. Like what was your mindset going to do that? I mean, I, I just turned 30 this year mm -hmm. and I think the main thing for me was I didn't want to wake up when I was 30 years old and say, man, if I had just packed my suitcase yeah. and said, goodbye for a little bit and moved to that like I, I would have been miserable if I had woken up on my 30th birthday this year and still been stuck in in my hometown I mean I love my hometown my mm -hmm. family's there um, and I miss them a lot and don't get to see them a ton because I, I travel so much and I'm gone but I would and also I, I now have a little girl so it, it would be hard for me to say you know tell her to go chase her dreams yes. and then me had never, never I love never that. done that and so yeah. I think the biggest thing for me was, you know, I've always had that kind of chip on my shoulder, but I didn't want to wake up one day and, and say, man, what if, you know, and. You only get one life out of it, right? I, exactly, you only get one chance to do whatever you, whatever it is you love, or at least one one kind of lifetime to, to really go after it. And so I didn't want to miss that opportunity and kind of when that opportunity presented itself, it was obvious that, you know, this is my window, this is my chance to go do what I love and what I've always loved to do. And so, that was just kind of the driving force mm -hmm. of, of getting me to Nashville and just kind of going all in on, on what I wanted to do. And I think, you know, I, I feel like I had a window of time and said, you know what, if, if nothing has happened in this amount of time, maybe I'll pack my bags and go back home. Right. And, 
Um, fortunately, I've been able to stick it out for almost seven years now, so wow. uh, it's been a lot of fun. But for a country singer, you know, coming up through the ranks and, and getting fame through Nashville, working with Luke Combs, all this stuff coming, what do you feel like presents, you know, for me when I moved down to Charlotte, you know, you're you're in the racing mecca for NASCAR right. of the of the nation. You're kind of doing the same thing of country singers in Nashville. Right. What's been, I guess, the hardest part and the most exciting part of moving into a city like that? I mean, for me, it's I'm I'm pretty shy when you first meet me. So, I, but I, you know, the the biggest ticket is don't be scared to go and meet people, and um, so that was kind of the tough thing for me early on. Um, was just having those guts to go up and talk to anybody yeah. that I met at a bar or whatever and say, hey, do you want to go write a song? Um, let's write tomorrow, whatever that is, you know. Yeah. But also, like, just not missing out on any opportunity and, like, taking advantage of, of every opportunity um, that you have presented to you. You mm -hmm. know, you have to, you kind of have to find out, you know, if there's something in that, uh, of the, in that bucket of opportunity, if you will, like, and so you just go fishing for a little bit. 